Hi, and welcome to another anatomy painting video. For this video, we're going to look at the trapezius, a big kite-shaped muscle that sits on the upper back. It's more superficial to the rotator cuff that I've already painted on the other side. And you have to remember that it is also bilateral. So everything I'm painting on the left side of the body is also mirrored on the right. But for this video, I only painted the left side on. And that was so that we could take a look at a more superficial layer. And then in a later video, we're going to be looking at a deeper layer of the upper back. Now, often in textbooks, this muscle is split up into its different parts, the upper fibres, the middle fibres and the lower fibres of the trapezius. Now, this is definitely only one muscle, but this fanning effect that its fibres create that you'll see in a moment once I've painted them on means that while it's one muscle, it can create some very different muscle actions depending on which part of the muscle is firing. You should probably note that a muscle doesn't just turn on and off. Different parts of a muscle and different muscle fibres can fire independently. The upper fibres of this muscle will create elevation at the shoulder girdle and also extension and hyperextension at the neck, as well as when it works unilaterally, meaning that only one side of the trapezius fires, the upper fibres can create some lateral flexion in the neck as well. The middle fibres of the trapezius will create retraction of the shoulder girdle and its lower fibres will depress the shoulder girdle and pull everything downwards. The trapezius has many different attachment points and it runs through over a large surface area on the upper back. It runs from the occipital bone in the skull, runs down, has attachment sites on the clavicle, the acromion, and runs along the spine of the scapula. It also runs down and attaches to the bottom thoracic vertebrae. So it, as, as I said before, it covers a lot of mass within the body. As a result of our modern lifestyles, the upper fibres of the trapezius are a common site of dysfunction. Massaging through these muscles can be uncomfortable for our clients, although as long as you stay within your client's pain tolerance, it can be described as a good pain. While it's common for the upper trapezius to be tight, and in a state of partial contraction. It's also common for the lower fibres of the trapezius to be weak. For many of us, we would benefit from massage and stretching and lengthening of the upper fibres of the trapezius and strengthening of the lower fibres. This is due to many of the seated positions that we put ourselves in day to day. It can also be created by some sporting situations, such as weightlifting and cycling. And here is our showcase for the trapezius muscle. There are the upper fibres, the commonly dysfunctional fibres. And we'll show some of the movements now. It will create extension and hyperextension at the neck bilaterally. And unilaterally, it will create lateral flexion. And at the shoulder girdle, we will get elevation, depression and retraction of the shoulder girdle. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.